Well, Michigan's chief medical executive is taking on a national role in the fight against the virus. Dr. Janae Caldoun will be serving as a member of the White House COVID-19 Health Equity Task Force. The ER physician at Henry Ford Hospital says she's honored to be part of the effort to address health disparities. Dr. Caldoun has been the lead strategist advising the governor and her team on Michigan's pandemic response. Michigan's coronavirus vaccine dashboard is showing another 52,000 shots into arms compared to Monday. The total number of doses administered so far is in striking distance of 1.4 million. Sadly, there were also 12 new deaths reported. Nearly 15,000 people have died from COVID-19 right here in the state of Michigan. We do continue to follow a story, a developing story this morning surrounding the deadly officer involved crash that killed a prominent Detroit attorney. We've learned Detroit police are now deputies in Pontiac managed to track down a burglary suspect by following his footprints in the snow. The owner of Avon Donuts says the suspect smashed in the front door and stole cash from the register early Tuesday. Investigators found a bloody chunk of concrete and shoe impressions that led them to a nearby home. There, they discovered a man with a cut on his hand and about $100 in stolen cash. Deputies say that he's a suspect in several other crimes in the area. Really cold outside again to start uh, today. Now, the difference today, the wind is uh, picking up just slightly. It's not a windy morning. But just the last few mornings, the wind has been calm, and right now it's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 miles per hour. Uh, right now it's reading 6 miles per hour, and that's enough to have a 12-degree temperature in Ann Arbor, but it feels like it's only 3 degrees. So I expect below zero wind chills by sunrise. A bright start to the day. The road should be just fine. Increasing clouds. It'll become mostly cloudy this afternoon. Might see a few flurries for the evening commute, but I don't think anything that's going to be impacting the roads.